see Exit are committed to this. They will put the recon down. Now the spike plant comes in. Now Dark Zero knows what they're up against. And Cold are able to strike first on this retake to get that one man advantage. Now they need to follow through. Gets the heal as well. Screwface now part of the play. The retake on the way, but Yellow needs to be retaken. And Zekin does get baited out from a wide peak just due to the spike being toggled. Also, the Recon Dirk going to be able to reveal some stuff halfway to fuse so far. Def able to find one, not going to get a second. BCJ, though, on the long flank through middle, opens up some space. Screwface has to take the 1v2, and he gets caught from behind. Wants to try to stick, but Zekin will not allow it. An X set is down early. Anderson, once again, going to be caught away from this play, kind of between a rock and a hard play spot. Able to find oh. one elimination. One for one is right there for Anderson. It's actually not bad at all. Keeps the numbers relatively level, and actually beyond that, it does give Dark Zero a numerical advantage, but the spike will be planted. Indeed it will. Firepower is still sitting in side of Xset though again as you noted a man down in this situation DZ just slowing it down letting everyone get back into place so they can try to retake this together as they definitely still have a shot good double swing there from yellow to try to put some pressure on Kohler not beneficial they will just have to sit back now and see if they can hold off this retake so the question is will they recognize that you do have a player sitting inside its staff he's able to find one but again the trades are decent dark zero has an opportunity to overwhelm here DCJ, Spectre in hand, not going to find any eliminations as Harmon's found a Bulldog to play with. Already halfway done to defuse. Zekin needs to try to find a way to swing out of this, but it's a 1v3, not even going to get there in time. No man's land. The fact that he's gone one for one is incredible for his team. Especially but since he was on the ghost only in that team. Absolutely. Ooh, nice pure. Pure. What that to say? That could make things interesting now. Absolutely. I mean, it's just the fact that you've got Dark Zero. You know what they're going to be running with here with SMGs. The Marshal finding some value. Actually trying to go over the rope as well. And caught in a corner, or is he? Ooh, almost able to get a collateral down. Lots of damage confirmed, but... Again, they're keeping this presence at A. They're making it hard for Dark Zero to rotate. Aaron, gonna get caught, though. Calder now knows what's up. He can start allowing his teammates to freely move over to B, knowing that they should be in the right place. Their only problem is they have to worry about middle as well. So, again, they're still not gonna be able to fully jet on over to B as the spike will go down. But, again, this post-plant hold for X is gonna be so tough with this HP, but they have a few weapons picked up. Maybe there's a chance at least to get the spike plant. Oh, they still have an Aldrin as well, so there's an opportunity for this to really find some value to scout things out as they make their way forward. You do have Kohler playing mid-map. Tag from Pure. That'll weaken up just Anderson for now. Recon Bolt still finding value. Sentry goes down, snake bite out. That's gonna block things off and that actually allows for the queen kills to come through. My baiting the jump there is Xset as Zekin's gonna be the first one forward. Showstopper coming out, throws it up top, does oh. connect to Screwface. Maybe a bit surprising considering that it really didn't look like it was going to connect with much of anything. So now an opportunity to set up a post plant 5v4. And Ainge is happy about that. He's like, man, I thought I was done for. He took one for the team there, but there's still a man behind on this retake. Defender, Killjoy, putting down the ult to try to help this retake along. And it's working out so far, but Pure is going to work with Ainge to get it back. Lockdown does get destroyed meanwhile, but Harmon sticking for the snake bite will deny, so will the paint shells beautifully played. Just down to one color, nowhere. Regardless, so it's gonna happen. Hopefully he'll settle back in. I like this A aggression in this mid drone ah. defensively from Dark Zero. That was a great adjustment. Gets him an early pick. Exit have to respond to the need push on the B, but they're doing so a man down that snake bite from Anderson will probably solve the spike plant in time for more rotations, but that's a big ah. deal for man. Spam coming from the middle of the map does allow the elimination and now the spike. Drop will be recovered quickly by Aaron, but they're not going to commit to immediately planting again. For a 3v5, you feel like you really do need to either get some information or, more importantly, find a couple of kills to make this a little bit more ease of approach. Aaron, the first one forward, spamming through the boxes, actually does connect for a little bit of damage. Toggles to see if maybe someone will check. They get information on Anderson as well, but the wall bangs are good. Kohler also there for the play, and it's just down to pure for the 1v4. I mean, Xset's gotten slapped around all round long this time around. Shift. I mean, just nothing's gone their way here. Losing the opening pick at A, trying to pivot B, get spammed on the plant, and then they've lost basically every battle. They've only gotten Kohler down. Pierce has been in a tough spot here with little time left on the clock. He's got nowhere to escape. But they may want to try something very similar again, but the recon bolt will put some hesitation in the mix, at least initially. The offense for Xset still trying to push forward. First shot for Screwface, good. Cloud burst to exit him away, but the resurrection had been earned for Xset, so inconsequentially yeah. we go back to a 5v5. Let's slow things down, though, and you got to 
confidence, but now he's hitting some shots, but that's a little bit of a miss. It's allowing more progress to be for next set. Drone is going to get some big intel. Oh. Pure are leading the way with the Vandal. Huge entries in the blink of an eye. A hat trick is earned, and now Xset has a three on two post plant. Nice recovery from Anderson. Makes things much more doable. Kohler is playing off the flank. Amron responsible for it and responds to it. So now it is just down to Anderson. 1v3. Looking like he does want to give this at least a look. Maybe not fully committing as of yet, but an opportunity to maybe find one. Finds BCJ, but cannot confirm the kills in this flank they get here. Viper's Pit is going to be called. That's offensively placed. The wall does get broken. Extra time for this flank to come around the back. No plant as of yet, but oh, Screwface has been seen. So now the jig is up. Xset, try to figure out, do we go for the plant? Do we play for the flank? Looks like they're going to do a little bit of both as it will be a 2 for 2 exchange down to a 3v3. But a spike has been dropped away. Pure and Zekin trying to recover this round. It would be a 2v4. We have a showstopper available for entry. And the last time we did see the defensive lockdown, Hunter's Fury came out to deny it. Up top, though, very aggressive opening traits. Pinstripe kill feed, but in the end, the early Hunter's Fury tilts the tide. Also tried to deny the lockdown, but there is not enough to actually defeat it through. So Pure caught the weird spot, has to make a decision, and wants to push forward. Now wants to delete the lockdown. What a play from Pure. Opens up the space, even sees Anderson at range, but can't finish the kill. So this would be a 1v3 in technicality here for Anderson, but... In front of him is yet a 1v2, and it looks like he's considering, does he want to play maybe for the flank or try to hit this from the head? Does have a Viper's Pit to play with if he wants her to open some space with it. Also a snake bite to run with. On the way into sight. Yeah, it's going to be... Okay, so it's going to be a Viper's Pit play, and I'm just really curious here for Exit. Do they have ability to try to deny this? And yes, they do. Shock art lineups, yeah. Definitely slowing down progress in the spy plan. Anderson's actually going in to make sure... But again, it's just oh, the snake, snake bites, too. man. We all know it and love it. At the, hate to see it at the same time, though. Not sure if Anderson heard the grapple on the rope. Not gonna find. Is alerted to it. They can still need to get in and get a kill. Oh, it almost happened right there. Oh. Harmon, though, able to recover, gets the kill onto death. Do they know about the second player. Now they do, but unfortunately it still comes at a cost. Zekin gets it back into a 4-4. Four four. They're still trying to run this B-split play, and they haven't allowed a rotation yet from Screwface. As yeah, they flex another. Anderson dropping is massive. We already talked so much about his position in that forward place up towards yellow. He goes one for one, that's fine. But this time he doesn't find elimination, so now Kohler is pressed. And essentially also has to commit forward early. Wall still available for the retake. And then Screwface, up top, with the Operator. Gonna meet point of contact with Zekin, who doesn't even give him a chance to look down the sides. Trying to get out this for early defuse. And able to find one. Opportunity maybe to swing onto a second, as BCJ goes with the shock drop. But the problem is you have to keep in mind that there is still a player from behind, and nothing that... Indeed, Anne's trying to maybe test the waters here at yellow. Zekin has been spotted here with the Sheriff. He's getting pushed in on. He gets his kill, gets the spike down as well, but quickly is traded back by Anne, who is relentless to get those two. Gets a big advantage here for Dark Zero. The spike will go down. You got to keep in mind, who has not been seen yet, Anderson mid-map after the trade has stayed in that position just outside of Kitchen, which you have to know for Aaron and Def, they need to be very cautious of what could potentially be on the flank. Ghost has been collected for death. The first one forward. Sentry turret will scout out the play that, yes, the retake is underway. Having a little bit of trouble dealing with the turret as well. Finally, they get an opportunity, but just before the Toxic Cloud comes up, Def is able to lock down Kohler. Anne's on the backside of yellow, able to find a tag into one, which makes life much easier for Anderson for the 1v1. It's Aaron on the other side. Viper on Viper. Spike gets toggled, and Aaron nearly gets an angle, but Anderson... The players on the defending side has been spotted here. Tries it up into the corner, does get some bullets off, and does find Kohler. Taking the bit, he's getting the job done. Lots of damage confirmed. Def able to follow up to make sure that it's converted into an assist. Anderson, the one to fall. And we go into a 2v4 situation. The spike is still in hand for Ange. And I was about to say, there is an opportunity maybe for a window to get a plant off. But Harmon not able to help out. Second will finalize the last two. And that will put X at your face. They know where Aaron is as well. He's going to be completely spammed out. Shock darts, slow orbs. But still, the utility, it's in play. Death is here also to assist. They find Screwface trying to find the kill, and a pixel left. peek here from Aaron off of his own toxic screen. Oh the Xet have held this. 
absolutely beautifully. 4v4, 22 seconds, and Dark Zero is essentially still in spawn. They have to make a play forward. They do isolate Aaron, but there's still so much ground you have to come through, and Exit are fully rotating. Kohler finds another elimination on the way in. So it is a 2v4, but time is a huge problem. Seven seconds on the clock. Have to commit. You're on the way over. Try to contest this. They go one for one. And planting. Pierre able to slap forward. Finds elimination. Now going for the stick on the spike. Doesn't even get it to halfway as Kohler shrugs him off. And Kohler's got a huge health advantage. Plus the utility if he needs it. And Pierre still hits the one tap. And with three kills, Pierre saves the round for exit. Oh my, that was the initial defense. It is just Steph who's going to be here by himself. Rotation from Zekin to make sure that he can get at least some assistance. And oh, they've actually seen oh. Scrooge, but Death still gets the headshot. Are you kidding? Attacking lockdown comes through, but losing their entry fragger. It looks like things are going to come to a pretty heavy halt. And it's going to rely on Anderson to find a kill mid map. He's not able to get anything with this. Hunter's Fury will come out to try to open things up, but Pure is still a part of this play. And after the resurrection, it actually still is Xset with the numbers. 4v3 retakes still required. And Xset earning the resurrection of their own will actually make it a 5v3. BCJ chiseling out the ice wall. Death finding a third kill. Pure cleaning up their second. And Screwflaze is about to be flushed out from behind oh yellow right God. into BCJ. Absolutely you know perfect from Xset. Shift all I care about. I feel like this Sage Viper combo defending long beef and big. It's bought time for Xset when it's needed to. It's allowed them to set up for retakes when they feel like they need to. And that Hunter's Fury is perfect to stop that spike plan. BCJ able to find not just one, but a second elimination. You almost thought that can't happen. Death finding more at range. Gets himself a double. Last player left is Harmon. And has made things interesting. 1v3 now. This would have to be a 1v5 ace to clutch the round. Calm down, Xset. Nearly gets pure. I was about to say. We, let's hold on a second a here. 3v1. Let's little not throw bit this of one away. Going on. That's all I'm going to say. Now they're starting to smart up a little bit here. Nearly realize that Harmon has a left. chance. Starting to show some discipline now. Hunter does have some utility, but there's the recon bolt for one. The shot dart oh could just confirm pure. Oh, but he's able to step away. So now Harmon sees an angle, finds one elimination, almost gets the second. Raider, and then just being relentless on the press afterwards, getting some great picks and not letting up. And now they've forced the save out of X set. They're going to have yeah. to go on the Sheriff's Inspector and a Ghost of Pure, so the dagger's in play. So there's still a chance they can defend this. Here to BCJ, need to come away with a couple, but screw face, clutch opening shot. 5v4. Pure with the knives right around the left corner. And this could get really dicey quick. Pure making the play, wants to go forward, but the ultimate orb baited out. Forces him into the mix, and that will be the elimination. Death now on the point. Resurrection coming through. There's one one tap. Looking for more. That's gonna do well for Zekin to get a little bit of a pinch. 2v2 situation. Resurrection still on the table of X set won it. Last player standing. And Screwface gets no walled way. out of the play. This is gonna be him down to a 1v2. How has this happened? I got the spike. What a flank from Def. What a shot with the Sheriff. It's causes so much disruption and puts Screwface in. It's such an almost impossible 1v2, left. really. But they'll try. Paint shells. Damage coming through. Screwface does have the knife. 61 HP. Has to go absolutely huge. And Zekin gets the early breed on him. It's sex. Pause before the star can be activated. But again, Dark Zero just keeps trying to get those orbs with their Phoenix. And oh boy! That's lined up with a look at Screwface! Getting him through the wall with a little bit of theatrics of his own. But still, Xset will be sitting prettier in this situation. Had to snuff out an offensive round in two bursts. Yeah. A show by death. Short series by death. Oh, and how about this group face going up top? Nearly actually just takes a shock dart to the face. Yep. Call him shock face instead of screw face, I guess, left. if that were to happen. Indeed. Bad Turn joke, number one. Yeah, I, I did one earlier about like forehead cave ins. So, I mean, I think it's, it's fine. That's fine. Well, BCJ is going to be tested here. He has actually slipped the through. Screwface has no idea where he's positioned, so BCJ will go one for one. Pure rotating over finds the follow-up, and the spike has been dropped over towards the site. Anderson, not a lot of time to move with. Able to find the information on both the last two players. Needs to find the connection. Gets the first. One second. Moving around quickly. Takes the secondary wide peak. Finds in prey action as the defense starts to rotate over. Def the first one here. Going to have some assistance from here. And they actually do catch one while the door is closing. They should know Screwface is somewhere nearby, but 
Maybe not expecting it to be this close as Screwface does see a weapon, looks for the headshot, converts. So now it's just a 1v2 situation, down just to death, but the good news here is he does have Screwface at low HP, and beyond that, the spike has yet to be planted, so there's some time to work with. But now tagged, he's going to back away, and it's going to reset the fight just a touch. One enemy remaining. Ooh. Or will it? Big kill there, and he's able to get away. He's trying to come back, but Screwface a bit quicker. That setup's going to be allowed here for Dark Zero. Yeah, just kind of your classic B burst play, right? Smokes out on spawn and door. Get your you running back run. out there to lead, be the tip of the spear, and then they just play off of that. They have the entry, they have the 5 on 4 post plant, but this lockdown going to add even more to the equation. It'll be a very tough ass now to exit. They have to just kind of back off and wait. Aaron throwing the flank. Oh, almost able to find some action through B main. But now the entire retake is going to have to be from the front or mid market. And there's just not a lot of time for this. It almost feels like for Exit, you might have just consider playing for exit kills at the moment. Is yeah, there's really no way they're going to be able to get back into this. So Anderson's going to be the first one likely to make point of contact. Just comes down to when and where. And does find Def up top. Pure already out of the mix. Second quick to follow. Off and try to go for B, and it's vulnerable. I find it good Very vulnerable. Yeah, this is really great. They actually bait on a lot of the utility from the Astra. BCJ completely flashed. Actually, Hanch had himself flashed for a time, but not going to stop him from finding not just two, but a third beyond that. So Xset, again, in a very vulnerable position just on the take itself. They're a very quick take towards B for Dark Zero, and this 5v2 will likely come without conflict again. Yeah, I mean, this is just a brilliant display of what you can do with mid control play you know spread and, and feel confident because they do have that man advantage and now they're stuffing dark zero trying to come up this catwalk area pure is already spotted one on site but he's lost the fight and this opens up the door for dark zero to get this spike down now sanderson with it from the shadows to gain the zone plenty of time to get this spike planted but the defense now throwing the hunter's fury trying to deny it harman has to stick and will as he survived the majority of the hundred story shots. Depth the first one in, denied by Screwface. Except need to take their time here, and largely they're still just trying to go at this a little bit one by one. Zekin's running back has been denied. BCJ is now in a weird spot, and Harmon down low is trying to get the spam shot, but BCJ beats him to the punch. Now Amor from the backside finds one, sees the head of a second, converts there, and now it's Ange 1v2. Able to find the first, but second up top wins the gunfight. This is gatekeeping this play through heaven. At least that's the idea. Spike has been planted. Nano Storm to push things back up here. Still converts first ball. That's under Screwface, who's been denied the blade from now on Harmon. Right back in the deck. Able to find one. Spamming through the wall work, but cannot find a second. So Exet still should make this play happen. 4v4 situation. And it's this down to at what point do you actually go call this? Because Angelo's a curveball. He wants to peek. Aaron in the back, trying to make a play through a tree, gonna find one, but now the play really just is on him, and he finds a second! 2v2 situation! Pure cannot really clear too much space with this operator, goes down low with the knife, doesn't find anything, just down to Aaron, time not in his favor either, and Dark Zero... Shots from BCJ will be unsuccessful, and Screwface has taken the middle of the map, so this is an opportunity for Dark Zero once again to get oh, on yeah. to be quickly. Recon Bolt will be thrown out offensively, but the retake... Second... Looking to hold on towards mid... You also stole the run back in the play. That's from Ange. Not going to find much with it, but Harmon allowed to get the trade. The numbers very heavily favoring the offense. Paranoia comes through. Exit has to back down. Anderson trying to force a square peg, maybe into the round hole. Finds the first, and that will push back everything just down to Aaron. Nowhere to go. And Dark Zero. Second wants to go quickly. Run it back in play. Does he have enough support to even find anything with this, though? He goes by himself. He Aaron caught you, is so you thought. Able to find one. That's not bad. 4v4 situation, Pure moving quickly, but Harmon again is holding down the trigger for two, but the trades are decent, 1v2, not gonna quite be there, and Anderson play forward on this, and Screwface will eventually have to back down, and meanwhile, in the same breath, X set from the middle of the map, able to find okay. some openings, and that's the offense completely taking over the A site. Yeah, normalcy has been reestablished here, I mean, that was getting real wild at A-Lobby with that shorty, but eventually X set able to break through from tree and alleviate that pressure and now they have a four on two post plant. Anastorm will connect just to get a little bit of space. Shock darts behind with the hot hands and Kohler has found an inch worth of ground not denied by utility. Trying to use the sentry turret to open up a peak but Kohler's gonna have to win a gunfight pretty much face up. Him and Harmon working this together this is a 4v2. Here is very low in the left-hand corner. They seem to have predicted that the biggest ready. problem is the players that are on the back, and that will not come through. Kohler, do what you can there, friend. Maybe find a couple of kills, but we'll be unsuccessful. Up. 
Yeah. Almost as if to say they're fine playing for a retake if they have exactly. to, but the play could actually lead to some motion up top or through Garden, which could provide difficulty for Anderson. Or will it find one? Grabs for the second. That's his third of the round. Not going to be able to get the fourth. And there remaining. for the trade. And everything falls onto Aaron's shoulders left. for a 1v3. No spike in hand. A little bit of time to work with 25 seconds to be exact, but... This is going to be a very tall ask for him to convert this 1v3. Yeah, he can get the spike back, but now his turret's down, so he has no longer any tabs on that tree push timing. Running low on time, may try to force a spike plant through, but it's just going to be too tough with so much left. utility in play for the opposition. Free combo will scout him out. Has to take the fight, not going to be... Go ahead, touch it, see what happens. Hot hands of the night, thanks for spamming through the cloud burst, finds pure. So once again, the entry for X set down, but the follow-up is pretty darn good. Your face up top responds, but similarly so does X set. We go essentially even for even trades. 2v2 situation, spike will be planted. Yeah, with brute force alone, X set gets the basic utility down, gets the spike down, and now has the lockdown to make this retake have to be stalled. And so that's going to really make it a lot tougher. Darkstar's going to have to work a lot faster now. Because they're going to stay so far away to stay out of range of this. And now they have to start trying to push in quickly. Not a lot of information gathering tools here, but you do see curveballs, and I have to imagine the paranoia is still in hand here for Dark Zero to try to retake. So those would have to find connections if they go for it. There's the paranoia. Doesn't hit anybody. Shock Dark to deny the staircase. Finds some damage on the Ainge, but works his way forward. Able to try to get in with Anderson to pinch, but the kills maybe not going to be there. They will, and Anderson finds the double. In the time, oh, it's going to be close, but Anderson had on the flank, yes. but the spike comes down quickly. And it looks like for Dark Zero, they are going to wait to assume how they want to try to set things up, but maybe not allowed to. Kohler's going to find first blood. BCJ responds. And Dark Zero now a chance to try to figure out how they want to work this 3v3, if they even get the chance to, because Death comes around the backside. How many times have we said Death on a flank so far today? That's another opportunity where he's able to get things to a 2v2. And now Dark Zero, they're not able to just sit here and just set things up. They have to go, and pretty individually, mind you. Odin v. Odin battle over towards Heaven and Hell. BCJ takes that for his third, looking for the fourth. Screwface still alive. Gonna go ahead and get the spike onto the diffuse with the cloud burst. Also the knives in hand. In and around the corner. Oh, he's lost them completely, but the shots for Screwface do not connect. So now an opportunity where Xset will get another plant for free, and it's gonna be a 4v5 retake required from Dark Zero. They do have a lockdown, so that could help out a little bit. Still going to be a tough prey egg to crack open being a man down. They do catch Aaron out ah. with that recon. And now they can really start instilling. Anderson for a second. Pure. Similar angle. But oh, now it's just down to Pure. Against the lockdown and four. Finds the first. On the outside. Not going to get the second. Harmon able to secure the elimination. As you've got Pure on blades plus a specter in his back pocket in case it's needed. Over the top, hot hands, not bad. Anderson trying to take advantage of this, and he finds not just one, but a second. Nobody from the side of X that were prepared for the opening peak. BCJ, though, is able to respond. So 3v3, the attacking lockdown already in play will force Kohler back. Indeed it will. He'll get away. They'll still have a 3-on-3, three three and they have health advantage, and they're where they need to be. Right, they know the spike is coming. They're able to start setting up Harmon's utility to start getting some reads on the side itself, and the spike will go down. Oh, that's a great tag on the BCJ, but they can't collect on it. Here. It's really good awareness as well from BCJ just to know that, okay, can't plant, have to deal with the Aldron. Recon Bolt also coming through, but the pressure from Xset allows them some space. But Kohler through tree. Nobody looking at it whatsoever. Free pick for him. BCJ going to commit to the plant pretty much because he has to. Aaron playing through A main is the only hope now. 1v2 on 26 health. Able to find the first and should know exactly where Kohler is positioned. Takes the wide angle and Aaron! What? If they win this round, Dark Zero is force buying from this point forward and it's going to be far less than what they have now. So Oh, for sure. You feel like if they lose this, it probably is going to go to overtime. It'd be so tough on them to try to collect in the final round of regulation with Probably like Spectres making this tree approach so difficult. Opening Hunter's Fury from the offense. Not going to find too much. Anderson for one, but the trade is there. Screwface misses the shot through main. Harmon on the side still. Finds an angle, but PCJ beats him to the punch. 4v3 favoring the attacker. Screwface still part of this, but gets baited. As you did see for just a split second, second jump across. Lockdown will be committed to from the defense. Zekin trying to deal with it, but doesn't actually convert onto the lockdown itself. So Kohler is able to turn this into a 3v3, and simultaneously Dark Zero is held off the hit. And the side plant, spike and the time is running so low now. No spike. 
Exactly. Spike is down towards main. This has to come down to elimination. Screwface gonna peek, but misses the shot. Three seconds, he can just run away. They yep. can't chase him down, and Dart Zero is the crack here offensively, but it's literally all five players stacked up. Sky Flash to open up the play. Paranoia comes through, finds so much value, but Kohler, how many can he actually respond to? Gets the first and is able to put some damage in, but now is the only player onto the site itself. Quickly moving over is Harmon, but not quick enough, and Xset just full on flood, and they get to the B site essentially for free. Indeed they do. Trusting in Viper to be that solo controller with that wall and poison orb is their only real vision blocking capabilities other than the Cypher cages. Wow. And I guess that's the one thing, right? Like Towards A pretty quick. Yeah, this drone here will at least spot Aaron in these A-Halls, and they can start using that to spam him down, and they do indeed get the kill onto Aaron thanks to Screwface's Phantom. So they slow down a portion of this A attack. There still is the Cypher, though, lurking in middle, and they still have the other players towards K, but now they will start backing off, trying to use Death's position here to maybe start threatening a mid B split. That push from oh. Anderson, though, catches Death and kind of gets a read of the situation. Now they have two-man advantage, firepower superiority, and Xset's kind of running out of options. Yeah, they're going to go right back over towards getting to B. Do they have many Hawks to be used here to come through? And just going to be able to throw out one early, trying to create a little bit of space. Kohler there to assist, but Pure has gotten the back wall in the favor of Xset. Trying to cross, denied. Kohler able to finalize that kill. Good team shots in the mix. And it's all down to Zekin, and with just the Sheriff, there was really never a hope for the 1v4. For by Anderson, means that they can't really get the full value of those Seekers. They are one for one. one. Three, though, yeah. Not bad, that's going to provide some point of entry. Girl, that's also being spent. Pure gonna take advantage of that. Finds one. Knows there's a second beautiful shot from Pure. Now up top. Hawk will push him off the angle for a moment, but he still locks down the shot on the end. And Zekin cleans up the trash up top. Wow. That's three beauty. That play initially back, but Screwface could he be tested. Attacking lockdown coming through. Def up top has found one. The trade does come through, but even in the end, the trades overall still favor the kill feed towards XX direction. Spike looking to be planted, but Pure up top. Able to take down his counterpart, and this looks like a familiar shot. Misses it just barely onto Anderson. Knows, of course, that he's made his way in, and the Viper's Pit coming through will provide a very good defensive post-plant setup here for x -Sec. I will say that's the one thing about this composition that you do have to start considering, and that is depending on... ...very passively on some of these zones as well, because I think both of us initially just kind of subconsciously as you look at x -Sec's comp, you think... Getting into the site is the hardest part. Once you get there and get a plant, like the defensive favor you're going to find, holding a post plant setup is going to be incredible. It's just the fact that, yes. I mean, Xet has walked on the sites more often than not so far. Yeah, the, the post plant capabilities this composition has for Xet is certainly very potent. Uh, no doubt about that. You know, you start laying cages down, you start laying Killjoy's utility down. You have Viper stuff that can go up and down whenever. I mean, yeah, you definitely can really reinforce the site once you have it. I think the other big thing Last is the operating, and I'm not even at the sniper, <laughs> it, it's been big. <laughs> but cannot take advantage of that, knowing he's going to deal with the Seekers in his face. Second set of smoke coming out, Death able to find one and a part of this play, and it goes two for two. Five not a lot of time on the clock here, 2v2 situation, five seconds, Spike is in hand, but is there enough time to actually plant this? No, there's not, not anymore, BCJ has to finish the final kills and will not get an angle to do it. So they build off of it. Screwface looking to get really feisty mid-map with Ange. Death though, oh. around the back cliff, no one even looks at it. That's one for Death. Pure with the knives finds the second, and again, Xset just dominating the first blood conversation. They're going to work their way in. Pure going to go to the elevation play to find Kohler. And Harmon, wow. Guardian in hand. <laughs> no way he wins that gunfight. Pure snapping onto everything, and it's just down to Anderson, likely just to try to survive this 1v5 with an op. Yeah, it's just... A little bit of oversight for no one from Dark Zero to have any tabs on elbow. They just kind of a wombo combo of ways to control sites once you get that first little foothold. Offensive lockdown through the middle of the map, and it's actually going to force the Hunter's Fury out in response, of which Harmon does capitalize on one of the three darts to get some damage. Anderson around the back, sees players at range, finds the first. Not sure if you had much more information beyond that. Aaron able to find the immediate response, so 4v4, but the post plant for X set has been really good thus far. Yes. Screwface trying to change that as he gets the operator onto pure. 
death up close. Just 70 HP to play with. Caught out. Paranoia also right into the mix. Now it's just down to Zekin and Aaron. 2v4 situation. They do have the spike flight into their favor, but oh, difficult look here. Able to find one elimination, but Screwface holds the angle. Easy hard. Uh oh. Screwface. Okay. <laughs> Good patience. First blood comes through for Dark Zero. We haven't been able to say that really too much. Secrets are going to go through very quickly here. And actually, they're used simultaneously. So, a little bit back and forth. Ange also able to get involved, though. So, it's just X set down to a 2v5. And, well, okay. This is what we would normally, I think, anticipate when it comes. A couple spam shots from BCJ. Wall goes up. Here comes the take. DZ holding on. Just waiting for the exact moment they need to to actually make the play through and screw face. <laughs> How tricky is that? Finds one, gets a second, puts himself in a corner. Nobody expects it whatsoever, but Xset have been able to respond at least essentially kill for kill. BCJ now left with 1v2. Does have an angle to get this to halfway for free. Hops off of it, finds one, turns, not to get the second. Kohler keeps things safe and Dark Zero win the required. Defensively holding out of the front door. DZ not able to get in and that's an expensive entry attempt. Indeed it is. They send Trailblazer 4 but it gets caught there by Ainge. Now they at least know where Ainge is but he's being protected for a time. And Pure and Zekin will go ahead and pop off here. Now it's all on Kohler with the Omen here trying to make things happen. His teammates trying to bring the spike solo to B but test. Here we go. Again, look at the very aggressive wall here for the offense, trying to zone off maybe a little bit too much. BCJ does fall, so there is a take of the B site, plus a play from behind. Kohler gets one before Aaron comes for the response. So the site is open. A couple of spam tags from Aaron, not going to fully connect with anybody. The spike will be planted successfully. Yeah, you can see the adjustment from Dark Zero, right? Let's just go for the quicker B attack. They know what they're up against on A side. They know that B's maybe vulnerable with BCJ playing alone. So they just decide to hit it so fast that he never really has a chance to find his footing or really get a rotation. And so that'll have to retake a man behind. You're going to have to hit an incredible shot. Nah, the tail dash win going through the back. Not going to fully get their error on the corner. Also denied. And Zekin will just collect this operator, try to stay alive. And, well, not going to be allowed to. Screwface pushing... That will be what's controlling A, and now it's just down to what's going to be the call to execute, and here it is. Screwface, the first on four of it. Death finds one. Trade will be there, but BCJ is still in the site. Has a Viper fit the play with Gawks forward. Finds only one. Nearly a chance to collateral, but regardless, it's 3v3, and Dark Zero have taken the site. Indeed they have. Again, they found that vulnerability. And now they're going to capitalize, it seems, as Kohler takes down Pure to have the main advantage on this post-plant hold. Trailblazer does connect. Second tries to flash his way to the wall, and he'll get there. But again, they're fighting a man behind once more. And second. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> that poor guy. Stun beyond recognition. And, and again, Aaron has all his utility ready to go here on B site once the attack starts commencing. All these seekers are going to read the flank, though. The timing from Dark Zero. That will actually reveal that there is a player pushed through, but still Kohler moving his way forward finds the first elimination. Aaron trying to get away, but not allowed to. The lockdown also destroyed simultaneously. Pure uncharacteristically misses a shot, but BCJ right there with them to find the shots to take down Kohler. So 3v4, Spike planted. Screwface holding the archway. Not going to get the look at the Pure. 3v3 now all of a sudden. Viper's pick going to cause a bit of a problem, though. As Xset continues to push their way forward, Harmon revealed by the Spike Cam, tries to slip away, removes the dart, gets into the Viper's Pit, and stays alive yeah. successfully. But even still, Pure finds a kill. Death looking to aggress into the Viper's Pit. They have to clear this out. Absolutely need to clear this out. Poison Cloud going to come through. Anderson slips forward, needs to check the Spike, sees nobody on it, but BCJ gets the gun up. Just down to Harmon, not able to find the secondary kill in Xset. Work their way. There's Kohler, point of contact, maybe with that. Oh, not great. Stuck trying to figure out if he wanted to use the From the Shadows. Death finds first blood. Hunter Screw was also committed simultaneously, but Anderson does respond. So 4v4, and Screwface, he's seen information on Death mid-map that he is playing through the tunnel. This feels familiar for Screwface. Maybe a 1v1 with Pure through the archway. Different angle, still whiffs on the shot. Spike gets planted. Almost sequentially. Anderson deals with death in the middle, but still, exit from the front. Putting together a bit of a retake. 2v2 situation after the exchange comes out. Dark Zero playing for a post plant safely on the backside of B main. Still have a couple of the shock darts, plus a recon dart to play with. Second forward. There's the wall. BCJ trying to get this to halfway. Successfully does that, but now it falls on to Zekin for the 1v2. Has to commit. Location revealed by the recon bolt. 
And not a lot to play with here as far as utility. There's the first shock dart. Goes for the tackle for Ooh. one. Second for two. Oh, oh my goodness. Diffuse. And they just face together, which was smart. But Zekin is able to pave his way through it all anyway. Brilliant display of aiming mechanics from Zekin to get out of that situation. Big round for Exit. Puts in at series point now. One round away. Still posturing for something over towards the middle. Look at Kohler. He's actually scouting out the middle of the map, knowing now that, okay, Death has actually been yes. here, I believe, two uh -huh. rounds in a row. So yep. it's going to stretch Dark Zero a bit thin in the early stages of this round. Also a deeper Viper wall as well that we're seeing from BCJ defensively alongside that Viper's pit. So make it really scary to approach that B side of the map at all. So it looks like it's going to be some type of mid cave split and uh, alt use for intel in the back of the site. Pure though still able to hold an angle here but does get caught anyway by the recon wow. blip. I don't think Pure knows exactly where he was shot at from. Opening engagements go one for one, but Pure staying alive. Oh boy. You feel like he's just going to do something incredible, and he does. Finds two before falling. Anderson for the 1v3. Trying to keep Dark Zero. Cinderella story alive here in stage three. Left. Opening qualifiers one, but he's caught in the middle of nowhere. And X set.